Welcome to another video. Today we are going to discuss about importance of monitoring the pH of fish tank water. Please subscribe to our channel, if you like this content and press the like button, to support us. Let's get started. Like all organisms, the fish and aquatic plants in your aquarium rely on highly specific environments in order to survive. These essential conditions vary from species to species and depend on the environment in which they evolved. pH measures the acidity or alkalinity of water. A pH value of 7 is neutral, with lower numbers increasing in acidity and higher number increasing in alkalinity. Many fish can thrive in a range of pH conditions, typically spanning 6.5 to 7.5 pH. However, some fish require specific pH conditions outside this range. It is a good idea to learn the ideal pH range for the fish you plan to raise in your aquarium. It is also important to ensure that all fish in the same tank have similar acceptable pH ranges. The tap water that fills most aquariums generally has a pH between 6.5 and 7.5. However, pH can drift over time, so testing aquarium water regularly is important. Sometimes water may need to be treated to support healthy aquatic populations. Most of the time, if left alone, pH levels will decrease over time due to additions of acids into to the water. Where could these acids be coming from? Here are a few common sources. Carbon dioxide in the air dissolving in the tank. Tannins leaching into the water from plant matter. Waste digesting bacteria acidifying the tank through the nitrogen cycle. Unfortunately, there are no visible indications that any change has taken place, so frequent monitoring is the only way to ensure that water remains healthy and inhabitable. The most accurate method for testing aquarium water pH is to use an electronic pH meter. You may be able to purchase a pH meter from a local pet supply store. You can lower aquarium water pH using commercially available peat or pH decreasers. Similarly, you can raise aquarium water pH using an alkaline buffer. Water hardness, or mineral content, may affect your ability to adjust aquarium water pH, as minerals can act as a buffer. Large aquariums or commercial aquariums may benefit from using an aquarium monitoring system with an aquarium pH controller. The aquarium pH controller can be used to regulate addition of chemicals to aquarium water, which allows pH to be automatically controlled. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and press the notification bell to get immediately notified when we upload our next video. Tune into our channel for more interesting videos. Please give a like if you like this content and share it with your friends and family. Please also comment your thoughts and opinions about this video in the comment section. All our social network links has been provided in the video description area down below. Hope you will check those out as well. Take care and see you in our next video.